Many of you know that earlier this year, I launched a new venture called The Crew because every woman needs one. It's a pure coaching service for women who are looking to accelerate their personal and professional growth. And the way that it works is that you apply to become a member of the crew and we match you with nine other women in your area. The 10 of you then collaborate to ensure that you thrive and that everyone meets their life goals. Since the application process involved this 20 minute interview over video, I got an opportunity to connect personally with over a hundred women. And one of the observations I made were the large number of women who would hop on to the video chat, either from their car or from the bathroom. I actually chuckled each time. <laughs> they of course would first apologize that they were in their car or their bathroom. Apparently that was the only place that they could find to conduct the interview in a quiet place. I would reassure them that it was completely fine. The crew is a judgment-free zone for women, and I understood. As I was connecting with these women and talking to them about their dreams and their goals, their ambitions, and what we could do to support them, I had this epiphany. Nurturing your well-being requires having your own space. So many of us are rushing in our day-to-day -day lives that we don't have the rituals in place that help us to center ourselves and to focus on our desires and our needs. Our physical space can play a huge role in helping us to create lives that we're passionate about. For example, my husband has his own space. It's the corner of this couch where he communes with himself and whatever Formula One race he's watching on television I'm sensitive to the fact that not everyone has a lot of space. I live in a two bedroom apartment with three other people and sometimes it feels like we're in a shoebox. So your space doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be an entire room. It could simply be a shelf where you have a beautiful image, a candle, and maybe some inspiring quotes. Your space could be a windowsill that you have simply left free of the clutter that is consuming the rest of your place. My space is my nightstand, where I have a stack of books that I'm always excited about devouring. Do whatever works for you, but just remember that nurturing your well-being requires you having your own space. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.